by Isabel Litzler, Pleiade HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today's video is about how to analyze a, a job posting. A lot of people, unfortunately, tend to apply quickly and, and they're so excited that they see a, a job that uh, they could potentially match, that they rush into it. It's a little bit the same when you were in college, remember, when you would go and uh, want to answer all the questions, but you haven't really read them well and you answer something different. So it's a little bit the same. You know, people tend to rush, especially if it's a company that they really like. So I'll take the example that we're in Switzerland of Nestle or, you know, these big companies that people really, really want. So as soon as they see a job that's a little bit close to what they do, they rush into sending their application. Well, you should try to uh, train yourself to do it a little bit different, to really take a step back and see if this job is actually what it is that you want and, and try to understand also what the company is coming from. So this is my first step here is really look at the general company and what it is that they need. So try to look first on the internet, you know, what is it that's uh, their news basically, you know, are they purchasing another company? Are they merging? Are they uh, selling a new product? For example, those big multinationals tend to always have new products, new, um, new events. Uh, they always have things going on for them. So you don't want to be stuck 10 years ago. You know, when you go to the interview, especially if you work in a field close to marketing and uh, all these things where you really have to be uh, selling to individuals the product, you want to make sure that you understand really their concept and what it is that they're trying to do. So spend some time researching the company. That's number one. Number two, when you look at the job post, uh, look at years of experience and qualifications, but take also a step back from that because I wouldn't be black and white where if it says, you know, five years of experience and you have four and a half, you know, and you don't want to apply because you're missing six months, you know, it's not so black and white. I mean, really, uh, in my view, and I've recruited again, a certain amount of people we are looking for as recruiters, we're looking for people who are good talent for that job, you know, who can learn and, and grow with the company. So we're not looking at uh, exactly, you know, five years dot zero or 5.2 years. I mean, we're not so uh, precise. I know that's the image that people have where, well, I don't have this. I don't take the box. Goodbye. You really have to take it uh, job post per job post because some of them will be very, very strict and there's nothing you can do about it. And you, usually you have uh, on certain job boards where if you don't tick the box, you can go to the next step. So, okay, that's fine. That's for those jobs. But then if I'm looking at other organizations, especially smaller organizations, they will put some criteria there to have a base, but it doesn't mean necessarily that you can't apply. It just means you have to be careful a little bit what they are saying. See if you're close to it. So if it says five years and you have four and a half, okay, you know, fair enough. If you have everything else that they ask for, then you should apply, definitely. So it's really a, a, a judgment call each time you see a job post, really to see what it is that the company wants, you know, and, and how do I, how can I bring value to this organization and take a little step back from, from the actual posting and, and look a little bit broader to see what it is that you bring to the organization and, and where you can help them. Really, they're looking for people who can bring them a solution to their employment, uh, to their vacancy, you know, they want someone who can help them with accounting or with marketing or whatever. So if you're good at what you do, you know, don't be so hung up on the little uh, criteria there, as long as you're generally understanding what they're looking for. Uh, and number three is really, uh, if the advert is from an agency, and it's more and more the case now where you have advert from uh, it's, it's a third party. So you will have a placement agency, interim agency. I would try to look online to see if you can find the job post, uh, in the company, because then it's an extra step if you go through an intermediary. So this person has the power now to move your application towards the organization or not. So, um, of course that's what they're hired to do. So Sometimes companies will do exclusively with the agency and then you can apply directly on their website, but try to check their website first. You know, maybe they have the job posting there and then if you can apply directly, um, that's an extra step you don't have to do. So that's what I always recommend is to check if the job post is available on the company's job board. So in my view, less intermediaries mean less steps for you to go through to get hired or to get a job offer. 
So, uh, so check online, you know, try to go as close as possible in direct with the uh, company. So hope this was helpful. I'll talk to you soon.